Warning. Spoilers for Ander Episode 4. Ander Episode 4 was filled with Easter eggs, and one of them might have been Plo Koon's mask. The Disney Plus Star Wars shows have had references to Star Wars. The Clone Wars before, some of them more explicit than others. Plo Koon's mask would definitely be a more precise reference, and it would also invite a definitive answer to many theories about him possibly surviving Order 66. In Ander Episode 4, it's revealed that Luthen Rail has a public identity of an antique dealer on Coruscant. Mon Mothma meets with Luthen to discuss their current plans under the guise of wanting to purchase antiques. While there, a variety of Easter eggs to other parts of the franchise can be seen. Some examples include murals of the world between worlds from Star Wars Rebels, a Twi'lek Kalakori, and what appeared to be a suit of armor resembling Starkillers from the dark side ending of Star Wars. The Force Unleashed. Another one of the Easter eggs in Ander Episode 4 appears to be, surprisingly, the mask of GD Master Plo Koon. Granted, the mask doesn't appear any different from a regular Antiox mask, but since Plo Koon was the only known Keldor GD at the time of the Clone Wars, it would make the most sense for it to be his mask. This would be the first significant reference to Plo Koon in the franchise following his death in Revenge of the Sith, and there are a couple of questions that need to be answered alongside that. How could Luthen have Plo Koon's mask? The most obvious question that needs to be answered is how Luthen could have GD Master Plo Koon's mask, as seen near the bottom right of the above image, in the first place, but that's easy enough to explain. Plo Koon was shot down in the aftermath of the Battle of Kato Nemoidia, so it would make sense for his body, or whatever remained of it, to have been recovered as the planet was being cleaned up following the Clone Wars. That alone would make Plo Koon's mask a war relic, add to that how it belonged to a GD, who had long since become a myth in the public eye, and it would likely be incredibly valuable. As such, it was likely auctioned off at some point, with Luthen winning said auction, and adding it to his collection to further bolster his public persona of an antique dealer. Does Ander destroy hopes that Plo Koon is alive? The second question that needs to be addressed is whether Disney Plus s Star Wars. Ander ends the idea of Plo Koon still being alive, and it very likely does. Like all Keldors, Plo Koon's mask is an anti-ox mask that he needs to wear in order to survive in oxygen-rich environments. That means that even if he survived his supposed death in Revenge of the Sith, he ended up separated from his anti-ox mask at some point, which probably meant that he died from the poisonous effect oxygen has on his species. Plo Koon garnered a fanbase from the work done with him in Star Wars. The Clone Wars, and that led to theories about him being among the GD to survive Order 66. However, Ander appears to finally put an end to all of that. At the moment, there's been no direct confirmation about whether or not the Antiox mask seen in Disney Plus s Ander Episode 4 is Plo Koon's, and it could easily be someone else's mask. However, considering the context of the setting and how Disney Plus shows have made references to Star Wars, the Clone Wars before, it would make the most sense for it to be Plo Koon's mask, which would also serve to definitively confirm his death in Revenge of the Sith. With any luck, there will be official confirmation about it in the weeks to come, either from someone involved with Ander or within the show itself. Ander releases new episodes Wednesdays on Disney+.